Sam Neoma. He was one of ten children brought up by farmer parents, and he fought for the independence of his country Namibia from South Africa. Sam Neoma was elected the first president of Namibia in 1990. He was born in a village which was then known as Southwest Africa, and Neoma eventually left for the capital Windhoek, where he started working for South African railways. His political career began with the mobilization of workers in towns in the area. In 1959, he was elected leader of the Owamboland People's Organization, which subsequently became Southwest Africa People's Organization, SWAPO. During this time, he petitioned the United Nations to free Namibia from South African rule. At the time, Southwest Africa, now Namibia, was controlled by the white minority apartheid government of South Africa, which refused to give up its mandate over Southwest Africa and instead extended its repressive policies over the territory. As Nyoma's political activities gained him international recognition, he was forced into exile on March 1, 1960. In 1962, having fled to Tanzania, he took control of the new Southwest Africa People's Organization, SWAPO. And by 1966, the UN recognized the Liberation Force and began attacking Southwest Africa. After more than 20 years of fighting and diplomatic negotiations, Nyoma was able to return from exile and became a hero. He led his country to independence in 1990 and was subsequently elected president. Nioma has been praised for establishing good race relations and respect for the rule of law in Namibia. While in exile, he said he always dreamed about Namibia's independence until it finally came true. Nioma was overwhelmingly re-elected in 1994, and he and his party, Swapo, went on to win a landslide victory in the 1999 elections, with Nioma taking 77% of the presidential vote. <laughs>